Hi everyone, in today's video I want to show you how to configure your router to connect as a client to a VPN provider. So we're gonna configure an ASUS router to connect to NordVPN, but the instructions I'm gonna show you also apply to other VPN providers and also to routers that support a client VPN connection. So let's start. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the administration page of the router and this is an ASUS router so I'm gonna go to router.asus.com and sign into your router. Once you sign into your router go to the left side here to the menu and scroll until you find something called VPN. Click on it and here click on VPN client and you notice that under VPN client we can create profiles for VPN connections. So I'm gonna click on add profile and here I'm gonna click on OpenVPN because NordVPN takes an OpenVPN client and also this is very widely used. So let's click on OpenVPN. And here on this screen, you have some information to fill in. You have description, username, password, and you need to import a configuration file. And I'm gonna show you how to do this. And also I'm gonna show you how to create multiple profiles so that you can connect, for instance, to the USA, to France, to other countries other than the country that you're in. So let's here first put Nord VPN Canada. So this is the first connection I'm gonna create. Next we have the username and password. So these you need to get them from your VPN provider. So here, as I told you, I have Nord VPN. So log into your VPN provider. For Nord VPN, I already logged in here. And under account, I'm gonna click on view details. And I'm gonna scroll. And here I have the username and password so I'm gonna click on copy next to the username and then I'm gonna switch to my router I'm gonna put it here and then for the password I'm gonna do the same thing so copy come here and put it here so now we have the username and the password we still need to import a VPN configuration file and to do this for not VPN they have a website for this I mean you need to check with your VPN provider so that you can get the equivalent for your VPN provider for NordVPN it is nordvpn.com slash servers slash tools and let's give it a minute so first it detects the country that I am in so this is for Canada and it will give you the best option for your country so this is here the server that it gave me I'm gonna leave it as it is I'm gonna click here on show available protocols and you're gonna notice that you have many protocols for OpenVPN I advise you to use the UDP protocol it is faster than TCP I don't want to go into too much technical details but UDP is a connectionless protocol and TCP is a connection oriented protocol so for the purpose of this video I'm gonna use UDP so I'm gonna click on download config and let's save it so it is saving it now and now we need to import it in our router's configuration so let's switch back to the router and here i'm going to click on choose file and this is the file open and you need to click on upload and you see it is complete so click on ok and now the vpn connection profile is added so let me add another profile for the united states this time so i'm going to click on add profile and I'm going to do the same thing. So open VPN. I'm going to name it NordVPN USA. I'm going to put the username and password. I'm going to show you how to get the configuration profile for the United States. So this is username and password filled in. We need to import the file for the United States. So go back to the server tools website of NordVPN or the one that is equivalent for your VPN provider. And here you have select country. So I'm gonna click on select country and I'm gonna put United. And then this is United States. And this is the server it gave me. So under UDP, I'm gonna do the same thing, download config save and it is saved so let's go here and choose file and this time i'm gonna choose the us file here notice it begins with us and then open upload and okay so now everything is configured if you want to connect now your router to the vpn you need to click on activate near 
the connection that you want to connect. So let me here first connect it to Canada. And I'm going to show you now how you're going to check your IP to see if it is really connected. So now you see it is connected. So now I'm going to go to a website to check my IP. So it is called IPlocation.net. IPlocation.net. And you notice here that the IP is in Montreal. And I know that this is not my IP, so the VPN worked. So now I'm going to switch to the USA connection and I'm going to show you how the IP here will change and it will say here United States. So let's go back here, deactivate for Canada and activate for the United States. And you notice that it is activated now. So let's go back to my IP location to see if it updated the IP. So let's refresh the page. And you notice that my IP now is in Buffalo, New York. So I still want to show you an option that might be helpful for you. So let's go back to servers under NordVPN here, servers tools. And you notice under select country, you have something called show advanced options. If you click on it, you can select a certain server type that you may want to use over like a normal VPN. So you have double VPN, some servers that can give you double VPN. You have onion over VPN and you have dedicated IPs and some also other types of servers. But if you don't select the server types, it will give you like the normal connection for the VPN of your VPN provider. Another important thing is that also you can use the smartphone application to activate and deactivate VPN on your router as you can do it under here, the web administration page of your router in a web browser. At the end, let me give you some best practices when you implement this type of VPN connection. First, do not try to activate two connection profiles on the router. It will not work. And the second thing, do not go with double VPN. So if you have VPN client already activated on your router and connected, do not also on your device that is connected to the same router, try to open a VPN connection. It will be slow and it doesn't serve any purpose for this. So that was it for connecting your router as a VPN client to your VPN provider. I hope that you liked this video and you found it useful. If you did, please share it, subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it and this will help the channel greatly. And this way you'll not miss any future videos I make. I'm Eloy and I want to thank you for watching. See you in the next video.